What up nerds, it's Jess from Twinzine. Welcome back to our channel. Um, right now it's just me uh, coming at you with a video collection cleaning haul type of thing. Um, the last video you saw was Eric and I showing you some cards I picked up on at Walmart on our way to a missions trip. I Spoiler alert, couldn't go. I got sick the night before and didn't sleep at all the night, uh, that night. So I ended up staying back. Uh, so I couldn't go, so that was a bummer. So now I'm back at home and I'm gonna take this time to get some nerdy things that I wanted to get done done. I'm gonna clean my room, sort out my pop, the famous pop wall. Um, and show you guys what I have as I put it away. Um, I don't know if this was, you know, what you guys had in mind for a collection video, but, uh, you know, if I'm putting them away to free up some space for my statues, I figured up, figured out I might as well show you guys what I have um, at my pop wall. So, that's what I'm doing, I guess. Um, so I'm cleaning my room. Well, I'm gonna start cleaning my room. It's actually a crazy mess. Um, this is my pop wall that I am going to, you know, sort through and leave the ones that I want out or just put them all away. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet, to be honest. Um, so this is the famous pop wall. Drink it all in. It goes from ceiling to floor with my desk and all of these other great stuff that I have. Um, I just need to sort it out. I can't, I don't know, not that I can't live with it anymore, but uh, I'd rather have some more wall space for art that I have and um, statues that I also have. Um, so yeah, I might redo my, uh, my background wall here, my actual, the wall that I sleep next to, because um, I got the new Princess of Power print from the Jen Bartel shop that you probably already saw in my Jen Bartel haul. Um, and I kind of want to redo my wall. So that'll be fun. Um, and I hope to share it with you guys in this little vlog, I guess, that I'm doing today. Um, because I'm used to talking to someone with Erica always being around, but she is in the Dominican with our friend Lindsay. Um, which I'm glad they went. I'm I'm bummed that I couldn't go. I'm still a little heartbroken over it, but that's okay. Um, it's kind of like when you break up with a boyfriend, except I wouldn't really know because I've never really dated anybody. But uh, I find myself thinking about it and crying, and I'm trying to uh, hold it together. So what's the best way to distract yourselves by uh, by talking to you guys on the internet? So um, and making your life uncluttered. So that's what I'm doing. I'm making my life uncluttered. Um, going through things that make me happy and sharing my collection with you guys. So, uh, yeah, that's basically today. I'm going to take you along with me um, and show you guys my collection. Hope you guys enjoy. I will catch you later. So, I thought I would share with you my stuff. Um, let's see. I do collect Doctor Who. I love Doctor Who, especially David Tennant. Um, so I got the Think Geek exclusive, the 10th regeneration. I liked it. It actually glows in the dark, and when you glow it, he actually looks like he's regenerating, which is really cool. Um, Jack Harkness, I loved him in Doctor Who and in Torchwood, so I needed to pick that one up. And, well, these three I actually ended up getting all at the same time. Uh, because of hot cash. You know how it is. When you have hot cash, you have to spend a certain amount of money in order to kind of get it half off. So I picked up the 11th Doctor with the Fez and the Mop. That was a Hot Topic exclusive because I really like that episode with the last Centurion and everything. Um, and then we have River Song. I love River Song. Um, I kind of hope they bring her back even, you know, even though they kind of wrote her out, but it would be nice to see her play off the 13th Doctor, so we shall see. So that's my Doctor Who collection uh, for Pop Toys. Then I have the DC Comics Legion of Collectors Hot Girl. 
which I really liked. Um, I liked this version way better than the Legends of Tomorrow Hot Girl because I didn't really like that character very much. Um, but speaking of CW TV shows, I ended up picking up the Felicity Smoke and the Black Canary. Even though it's technically just the Canary, because this is Sarah, not technically the Katie Cassidy Black Canary one that she's, you know, she's in. But they had it. I needed it. The end. Um, I picked up Oliver Queen um, because I really liked it. I think this one is also another one I picked up for the Hot Cash at Hot Topic. And... Um, these were actually one of my very first Pop Toy um, pickups that I ever picked up. I picked up Buffy first. Buffy and um, Agent Coulson, which you'll see in a minute, and Black Widow also, were my very first Pop Toys I ever bought. Because Buffy was the best. And then, of course, because I'm weird and I need to have a set, I picked up Willow. Because this was before they actually had Faith out, so I'm okay with just having the two. And then uh, over here I have Selena Kyle from Gotham. Uh, she was the only one that I really liked out of the whole entire pop set. Let's see. Yeah. I don't know. I thought hers was more dynamic than everyone else's. Like, you can tell that she's from a superhero movie. Not movie show. But, uh... But, yeah, so I picked her up. I got the, uh... The Harley Quinn, the New 52 Roller Derby one. I really wanted to pick up another one to customize it to make her look Day of the Dead because I liked the way her her hair was and I thought that'd be really cool to customize it with a skull and uh, like a sugar skull type thing, but I never got around to doing it. Um, this is my first chase that I ever found in the wild. Uh... I was actually originally really upset that this one was going to be the chase because I didn't think I would be able to find it ever. I was really bummed and I was hoping, you know, selfishly that, I, you know, I was hoping it would be the uh, the Think Geek exclusive because I could have, you know, gotten that one. Because I actually wanted just the sepia tone. Not because it was the chase, just because I like the way the sepia tone is. Um, and then I picked up the Olivia Moore. Uh, Summer at Convention exclusive. I picked one up for my mom as well because she also really loves the show. Surprisingly enough. Uh, yeah, I was really surprised she actually really liked the show a lot. But it's by the creators of Veronica Mars. So I was like, give it a shot because you like Veronica Mars. And she did and she loves her. And then for Christmas a few years ago, my mom got me the pink Batman. Um, which I really, really liked. I don't know why I think I got it because it reminded me that... I don't know. I liked the pink. It reminded me of like cancer, breast cancer awareness. So I picked it up. Not that that has anything to do with it, but that's what I got it for. Um, so, so yeah, so that's part one real quick. When I take them down, I'm going to continue showing you them as I put them away. I got so the Black Friday Hot Topic exclusive uh, blush. I didn't actually get it at on Black Friday. I think I bought it at a convention. So I knew that this is the one I was getting because this is the one that I wanted. So that's exciting. After that, I have my Batman vs. Superman collection. I picked up the Wonder Woman. The Hot Topic exclusive Aquaman because I really like that color. Um, I thought it was a more, I thought it was a better looking pop than the original. So this is the Aquaman that I have to complete my uh, Batman vs Superman set. I also have the Batman and the Superman. Next to that, I got the other Black Friday GameStop exclusive one, Batgirl. Uh, I think I got this one online from Amazon. Actually, I didn't get it at GameStop. This one I got on eBay, the very first Batgirl. Um, I like it. It reminds me of the, the original Batsuit 
from the comic books. This one I picked up, uh, I think, at Hot Topic. The New York Comic Con exclusive Batgirl with the Batarang. My brother got me this Batgirl for Christmas, the animated series. And then I got the Dark Phoenix, Supergirl, Wolverine, the X-Force Wolverine. Um, Cause I just, I thought that one looked cooler. Then I have the Captain America Civil War Hot Topic exclusive, or GameStop, I'm sorry. I like that one better because I like the way the shield looked. Uh, the Hot Topic exclusive me Metallic uh, Magneto. I thought this one looked better than the original because of the metallic paint. Because of, uh, you know, he moves metal around. So I thought it looked better if he looked metal. Um, the Hot Topic exclusive Captain America Civil War uh, Iron Man unmasked. Then I have my Daredevil set. The Red Suit Matt Murdock, Daredevil, and the Vigilante Mask. Next I have the Spider-Man uh, Marvel Collectacore box. One that I might actually give to my stepdad. Actually. Um, cause he loves Spider-Man. Go figure. Uh, after that I have the Pirate Deadpool Hot Topic Exclusive. Um, this was at the time when all of the Deadpools were coming out, and they were kind of cool. This one's the only one that I really wanted. Well, this one and the one with the shower cap, and I never found a shower cap one. But I'm okay with that now. I picked up the Walgreens exclusive Kamala Khan Ms. Marvel. Um, I really like her. I like her pop. I'm thinking of getting her legend as well. Uh, so we'll see. After that, I got the... Um, Wizard World exclusive Stanley. Um, I wanted a Stanley uh, pop just because he is the bomb. Uh, and then my Spider Gwen pop uh, series. I got all of them. The Hot Topic exclusive, uh, Unmasked, Unhooded, the regular normal Spider Gwen, and the Walgreens exclusive, the Unmasked with the hood up. Um, the Walgreens one was a little bit harder to find just because we are on the eastern seaboard and it takes forever for us to get any any exclusive, especially at Walgreens. You guys know the struggle. It's real, my friends. Um, I have Nebula. I also have the Thor Secret Wars Jane Foster Thor, uh, which I loved. Not loved, I still love. She's my favorite. Uh, Scarlet Witch. I have the... Black Widow, GameStop exclusive. She's holding Captain America's shield, which I thought was really cool. The uh, exclusive Collector Core Squ Squirrel Girl. Um, I like this one. I haven't read any uh, Unbeatable Girl Squirrel Girl uh, comics at all, but I will have to look into it. I'm really interested. Um, after that I have Lady Sif. I love Lady Sif. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I like the girl that plays her, Jamie Alexander. I think she's cool. So I had to get that one. Uh, Joey Ramone, because he is my favorite Ramone. I have Melinda May. Because I like the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. pops. I think they're awesome. If they had one for every single one of them, the one I want them to do, I want them to do a two-pack of uh, Fitzsimmons. I will die for that. Um, so yeah, I have the Captain America. Is this the Winter Soldier? Yeah, Winter Soldier, Black Widow. The Harry Potter Summer Exclusive, Luna Lovegood. The other Luna Lovegood that I want to get is the one with the lion head. I really like, I just, I haven't gotten around to picking it up yet. Agent Coulson, my very, very first pop toy that I ever bought ever. Agent Carter. I just loved Agent Carter. I wish that show was still around, but it's not, which is kind of depressing. I have Drax and Gamora. Down here I have Agent Daisy Johnson. Uh, the Book of Life Maria. I really loved this movie. 
Um, I was late to the game, but I love it. And not because, you know, La Muerte is worth a hundred or three hundred or whatever many dollars. Um, had I seen this movie before, I probably would have picked La Muerte up before. Uh, just because she's voiced by Kate the Castillo and I grew up with her watching her soaps as I was a kid. Um, but yeah, I really liked Maria. So I got her. Um, I have the Potted Dancing Groot. The Rocket Raccoon. I have the Diana Prince. Um, this one's the one without the ice cream cone. This one is the Entertainment Earth exclusive, which is the first one that came out. The Wonder Woman in the blue dress. Uh, the GameStop exclusive. I have. I also have the Star Lord as well, from the Gardens of the Galaxy. I have the Alice in Wonderland, Alice in Manha Mad Hatter set. Those are the only two that I really enjoyed, so I picked those up. After that, I have my Orphan Black set. So, I have the Helena uh, Summer Convention exclusive. I liked that one better than the one that she was covered in blood in the wedding dress. My sister has that one. Um, I didn't like it, so I didn't pick it up. Um, I have Sarah Manning. I have Allison Hendricks. Cosima, and Rachel Duncan with the martini glass, because I didn't like the one with the pencil sticking out of her eye. But, I mean, I kind of did, but I thought this one looked cool. Mm, not that it looks cooler, I just, I thought it would go better with the other ones. Um, so that's the one that I have. I have the Once Upon a Time Regina with the apple, because um, I really like her character. Um, I love the Evil Queen. She's the best. I have the Sherlock Deerstalker hat. Um, I liked it because I paired it with the Irene Adler. And she, in the show, liked that he wore the hat. You know, because uh, Brainy is the new sexy. So, picked that one up. I also have the Elsa and Anna because I got caught up in that craziness of Frozen for a hot minute. I don't know if I was caught up in the Frozen thing or the fact that I was just newly into collecting pop toys and they were there and I needed them. Maybe that was it. I don't know. But I have them. I also have the Ariel Little Mermaid pop toys. I have the original Little Mermaid. The... Um, Hot Topic exclusive with the nerdy glasses and I also have the Ariel with the cool dress um, or the kiss the girl dress I guess um, where she goes on the date with Prince Eric where she's trying to get him to kiss her and he won't um, those are the only ones that I got I know that they have the pink one out and then they had the one with the sparkles and I thought whoa that's too many I don't need all of those. So those are the three that I have. Um, if you follow us on Instagram, you may have already seen this. So it's my other bombshell chase, uh, the Catwoman. I like Catwoman. I like her in this series. So I saw it and it was still there at Barnes & Noble. I picked it up and I was like, oh my gosh. So I picked it up. I got the Walmart Resistance BB unit. Uh, I don't know why it's here because I am gonna leave my Star Wars pops out so but yeah that's the one that I got on Force Friday I got this one with the mother box the Wonder Woman with mother box I got one for myself and one for my mom for Christmas the only a uh, Target exclusive Hella um, I didn't think I would be able to find this because I was stalking them forever and asked the guys that worked there and they're like there's not even a spot for it so when we went one night and they had them I kind of geeked out and clearly I got one so I was pretty excited about it and of course the Stranger Things pops um, mostly they're 11 because I like 11 um, so I had to get 11 with Egos, and then I got the 11 fall exclusive with the electrodes um, and the Hot Topic exclusive one 11 underwater 
And this one's the other one that I really, really wanted from Target was the Joyce and the Biohazard suit. Um, I really liked this. Um, I'm gonna see if they have the the Hopper one at Hot Topic still. Um, just so I can have the set of both of them because I like I liked that scene when they went in to go find Will. So yeah, I picked that one up. Um, I have Severus Snape. I picked it up when Alan Rickman died. I really liked him in the Harry Potter movies and I was debating on getting it anyway. But then when he passed away, I I, uh, I pulled the trigger and I picked him up. It's still one of my favorite pop toys ever. Um, I have the Hot Topic exclusive Sailor Moon. Um, I really like Sailor Moon. This one was the only anime that I watched as a kid. Um, that's one of the reasons why I want to go to Japan because they have Sailor Moon and Hello Kitty everything. Um, so yeah, I picked this one up because I like this one. This one is when, in the beginning, if you remember Sailor Moon, uh, she sees this cat with band-aids because they thought she was being abused and she takes off the thing and it turns out that she's the Sailor Scout. So that was cool, so that, you know, that reminded me of that, so I picked it up. And then I picked up the Emerald City Comic Con Spring Convention Exclusive Upside Down Barb and Eleven. Uh, because I like Barb and I like Eleven and, uh, yeah, I just, I really liked it, so I picked it up. I thought I was done showing you all of my pop toys and then I forgot that these were in the corner because I have a little X-Files corner. Um, I have the Dana Scully and Fox Mulder pop toys. Um, I got them when I literally binged watched every single episode of the X-Files and both movies in three months. Uh, so I was riding high on watching every single one of them and I was like... I remember seeing them, and then I needed them in my life, and I couldn't live without them. Uh, so, yeah. I know this is a long video, and thank you for sticking with it if you got all, if you got all the way to the end. Um, I know I'm a rambler. Um, yeah, I tend to ramble a lot. Um, but, you know, thanks for sticking with me. I hope you liked my collection. Um... I probably will continue posting updates probably on Instagram uh, about my progress of my little updated nerd wall because um, this is, I don't know, I feel like I need to actually, you know, figure it out and put things where they actually need to go. And that was step one, was clearing out that pop wall space. Um, I do still have to show you my my uh, my Star Wars pops, um, but I probably won't do that until once they're all figured out and sorted, so I can just pan around them. Uh, but yeah, guys, thanks for watching. It's the Age of the Geek, baby. We run the world. Bye, nerds.